Lava has just launched a new super wide angle prime. Lava 6mm MFT F2.0 C at D Dreamer. Let's look at how good it is. Hi, it's Peter here and let's get right into the business. But a disclaimer first. This lens was sent to me from Venus Lens, the maker of lava lenses, to make this video. They did not tell me what to say in this video, so my opinions are my own based on testing this lens for a few weeks. I have already sent the lens back, so I don't have it anymore. However, I do have the Cinema version of the lens, Laova 6mm T 2.1. This will go back after the New Year's. Look and feel. Laova 2.0 looks really good and is very well made too. The focusing ring feels really good and it is nice and smooth. The size is quite small and it goes well with Open 5 for example. Features. It is part of the Dreamer lenses and it is a manual focus lens with electronic contacts. So metadata about the aperture is written into the files. That is very good. Manual focusing is quite easy. It does not have to be so precise since the depth of field is quite big. There is a depth of field scale so that you can get rough idea of how big it is. As you see from the distance scale there is 0.5 meters and then the next one is infinity. Basically you can set the aperture to f4 and everything is sharp if the scale is over infinity like in this photo of the lens. When you focus close you can get some background blur. In this particular photo it looks quite busy though. The closest focusing distance is only 9 centimeters. What I like about super wide angle close ups is that it shows the surroundings quite well. Before we get into the image quality, let's talk about some specifications. The field of view is about 122 degrees. The filter size is 58 and the weight is only 188 grams. The cinema version weight is slightly smaller, it weighs 180 grams. And here are some of the other specs. Image quality. There are no big problems with image quality. Of course there are some distortions because it is so wide. Distortion easy to correct. In Lightroom plus 6 is about the amount that will fix it. There are some vignetting but nothing that will ruin the image. It also quite easy to correct if needed. There is still some vignetting at f5.6. The sharpness is very good in the, in the center. Corner sharpness is also quite good. Here is an example photographed at f5.6. You can clearly see some unsharpness in the corners. It is not that bad, but in this image it bothered me, so I needed to crop it. You probably noticed that the Laova 6mm f2.0 makes a nice sun star. I found that f5.6 is the sweet spot for a sun star. Interesting thing is that I could not get the same sun star effect with the cinema version of the lens. My thoughts. I could see myself using this lens for my professional work. Interior photography could be the case. This lens is also very useful for landscape and cityscape photographers. The super wide angle field of view is good to have if photographing those genres. For videographers the cinema version is of course more suitable. It has gearings for follow focus. It also has the aperture mark in T value which is the value of light that comes out of the back element. F value tells the amount of light that goes in from the front element. All in all another good wide angle lens from Vlaova. If you're interested in buying either one of these, I have an affiliate link to the lens in the description of this video. Laova has also two other good super wide angle primes, the 7.5mm f2 and the 10mm f.2. And here are videos about to those two lenses. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.